Yeah, I like it because you learn lots of different stuff. Creative projects such as like reacting, any like stories or just like singing like or learning a new song. We're gonna play ping pong. Yeah. <laughs> Chinese yo-yo. In this Chinese program we do a lot of um, these projects and I really enjoy them. The basic culture stuff. We play shuttlecock where you kick this feather thing. Lion dance. <laughs> On Chopstick Day, we get to like eat other stuff we never ate before. We use chopsticks to eat Chinese food, eat food that, um, that um, Chinese people in China they eat. She's going to use her body language to express this part. I enjoy that we don't learn only Chinese vocabulary and words. We also learn the culture, like dances. Through Chinese dance, like, you learn a lot more about the Chinese culture. And just because I, I know the language, um, like, the Chinese dance makes me want more interested in, in going to China. <laughs> Performances uh, for the general public have, you know, greatly benefited not only my children in their confidence and self-esteem, but also brings the culture to the uh, broader community. Uh, also, uh, there have been trips planned to China for probably the past uh, decade or so. Uh, almost every year, we see a lot of growth in them using their Mandarin for the short trip that uh, you know they've gone abroad. It would be nice if our student can actually stay in the place to learn the language. I learned more Beijing slang words, like the the you don't say 一点点, you say 一点. Chinese, uh, welcome Canadian forever.
Dr. Wen. That's awesome. I didn't know you could 